What is up, YouTube? What is up, Giants fans? It is your boy Jay Dimes. We are back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants banger. And before we get to this one, if you don't know so yet, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure that subscribe button if you love Giants football and if you love Giants content. Now let's hop right into this one. In this video, I will be recapping day six of Giants OTA. Some of the things that happened today, some of the stories, some of the highlight plays that we saw today um, from Giants OTAs. And um, let's start out with Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, let me let me get myself position for this. Daniel Jones, I know it's OTAs. I know it's OTAs. We'll get too excited, but Daniel Jones launches, and I mean launches, a pass to Wondell Robinson, guarded by Aaron Robinson for like nearly a 47-yard touchdown in one-on-ones. It was a play where um, DJ lets that thing go. Wondell Robinson is able to make a great adjustment to the pass. Guarded by Aaron Robinson, very tight, very good coverage from Aaron Robinson, but is able to make the play and scores a touchdown. That is something that I love to see. That is, I love to see it. First off, it's letting Daniel Jones launch the ball down the field, getting him more in routine with throwing that ball like he should be down the field, pushing the ball down the field. But then our rookie, our rookie wide receiver in Waddell Robinson is able to make a very great catch at his small frame, he made a play that Kenny Galladay would kind of make. That's how uh, good of a play it was from Mondale Robinson. So, um, again, Aaron Robinson played good coverage, but just it was just a great pass from DJ and an even better catch from our rookie wideout out of Kentucky in the second round, Wondell Robinson. And also, a fight happened. A fight broke out. Now, last year, we thought that fight against, I think it was like Evan Ingram, Logan Ryan, uh, we didn't see it as a big deal, you know what I'm saying? And I'm definitely not going to see this one as a big deal with Corey Cunningham and Quincy Roche um, throwing punches. I think Quincy Roche helmet got taken off in the little scruffle. But um, these are our backups. These are our backup guys. Corey Cunningham's a backup offensive tackle. Quincy Roche is our backup um, pass rusher. But they're showing that competitiveness. And I love that. Making each other better, even though it might not look like it because they're fighting. But that's just adding on to the energy. That's adding on more to the... The competitiveness of two two sides, the offensive and defense going head to head. I love to see it, and um, it's not even training camp yet. You, that's when you start seeing the more competitiveness when it's training camp. This is OTAs, and people are comp competing this hard. I love to see it. Um, I'm not worried about it. Again, these are our backup guys. These are our backup guys. These aren't our starter guys. Last year, it was our starter guys having that big old brawl. It was Evan Ingram and um, Logan Ryan, I think. And uh, nobody had to run no laps. You know what I'm saying? Nobody out here freaking running around the whole field because we got me through a little bit of punches. It's football. So um, I love to see that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just can't wait to see, the tr see what training camp is like when we're talking about on a competitive level. Um, let's slide back to the office with Daniel Jones. These wide receivers, man. These wide receivers. Now, it isn't the uh, Kenny Galladay. It isn't the Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony's still in the red jersey. Sterling Shepard still in the red jersey. It's the little backup guys that we have that just... They weren't good today. They were not good today. And I know, again, it's OTAs. It is OTAs. Disclaimer. It's OTAs. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? Nothing set in stone right now. But they were falling. They were dropping balls. I think David Sills bobbled a pass and it was intercepted by Dory Jackson. Um, Richie James, uh, I think Daniel Jones, I hit him on an out route. He falls to the ground and gets intercepted for a pick six. You got to clean that up. You got to clean that up. You know what I'm saying? It, we're not even... In training camp, I'm in 11 on 11 yet, and this is already happening. So, in my opinion, if you can't make those easy catches and you're falling and stuff on your routes, come on now, you gotta do better. Um, those interceptions were not DJ's fault, not DJ's fault. So I don't want to hear nobody talking about some DJs out here throwing picks already. It's not even training camp yet, it's not even preseason yet, it's not even season yet. I don't want to hear none of that. Those type of plays are plays that routinely happen to DJ, where our freaking receivers are bobbling passes and falling and stuff like that. But um. You can't blame DJ for that. You cannot blame DJ for that. But I uh, hope that's something that our backup wide receivers clean up. Again, there are backup guys. Um, he also hit Darius Slayton on a play for a touchdown. Or Dory Jackson was in coverage. And um, I think he slipped. He slipped in coverage. Darius Slayton was able to make the um, touchdown. So um, I love to see that. But uh, overall, oh, another thing. Steve Smith Sr. Steve Smith. What, what, what are you doing? Steve Smith uh, posted a video on Twitter basically announcing, breaking his own news that he was uh, joining the Giants coaching staff. And uh, when I saw that, I'm like, wait a minute, we're getting Steve Smith on our coaching staff? And then he comes out and says basically it was an April Fool's joke. Like, come on. Like, like come on. He was there. 
um, talking it up with coaches. He was also talking to Wando Robinson, who a lot of people kind of compared him to. Um, uh, Why we was at OTAs today, but um, a little prank, a little joke from uh, Steve Smith. Uh, so um, I guess you could laugh at it. At first, I really was happy that we were getting Steve Smith on the coaching staff. But um, that's really everything. Um, a few other things, Joshua Zudu, our rookie guard out of uh, UNC, started at left tackle today and the reps of, with the ones, the starting offensive line. Um, Andrew Thomas was in the red jersey also. He did have that surgery back in mid-January. So um, Joshua Zudu started at left tackle. Shane Lemieux slid in there at left guard. Um, I think the backup twos had a bad day also. I think that's something that Dan Duggan tweeted out, but um, it's the freaking backups, all right? They're backups for a reason, but um, that's really everything. Uh, slight little video recapping the Giants Day 6 of OTAs. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. And until then, it's Big Boy J. Downs, and I am out. Peace.